Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Earth's Medicine. So in today's video, we are going to be profiling the Jamaican trumpet tree, which is a medicinal plant that has been used in traditional medicine across various cultures for years to treat a myriad of ailments. So you know the routine. We're gonna be looking at its medicinal properties and how it is used in traditional medicine. So stick around for the next round. The scientific name for this tree is Cecropia peltata. It belongs to the Urticaceae plant family and the genus is called Cecropia. In Jamaica, we commonly refer to it as the trumpet tree. In other parts of the world, the preferred common name is also trumpet tree. However, it has other common names. For example, there is trumpet bush, bacano, snakewood, wild pawpaw, and papagon, among other common names. And in Spanish, people commonly refer to it as guarumo and yagrumo embra. The trumpet tree can be described as a small to medium sized tree. It has a open and thin crown and it has a few stout branches arising high on the trunk and curving upwards. It's a fast growing tree and it can reach up to a height of about 20 meters. The trunk diameter is probably between 10 and 30 centimeters. When mature, the trunk color is gray brown, but when it's very young, it is green. The leaves are simple and they're also large and the more mature they get, they can get much larger than this. The upper surface of the leaves are dark green and the underside is light green. These are the fruits. Um, when they are young, they are greenish yellow in color and um, they reach up to the sky. And as they mature, they get soft and plump up and then they take on this grayish green color and hang down loosely. I have never tasted them before, but based on my research, they are said to be tasty and sweet, um, tasting something like gummy worm candy, and they're also watery and aromatic. And um, initially, 
the fruits are enveloped in these closed spades. The trumpet tree can be found growing in parts of the Caribbean, the United States, Mexico, South America, Central America, Asia, Africa, and the Pacific Islands. This tree thrives best in full sun. However, it will survive in light shade and it prefers a well-drained soil. In Jamaica, you can find it growing organically and wildly in forests, along roadsides, in backyards, and other green spaces. And it reproduces by seed and is usually spread by animals that feed on the fruit. You know, like bats and birds for example so as i had explained earlier on one of the non-medicinal uses is the edible uses but what I forgot to mention to you guys is that it's not traditional for Jamaicans to eat the fruits. But outside of the edible uses, people do use the inner bark or young branches to make sack, rope, and cordage. Latex from the trunk is used to make crude rubber. The leaves are used as sandpaper. The wood is used to make boxes, crates, paper pulp, and matches. The hollow stems and branches are used to make blowguns and trumpets by Mayans, hence why it was given the name Trumpet Tree. It's also used for irrigation as well. Before we go any further guys, we would like to make a request if you've been enjoying the video thus far please drop a like and a comment and share this video as well because it really helps out the channel a lot when you do these things and if you're new here a very warm welcome to you we're so happy to have you if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future then please subscribe to the channel right now and please turn on your post notifications so that you will not miss any of our videos thank you so much guys now let's jump right back into the video this is a dried leaf from the tree it's eventually going to fall off the tree if someone doesn't pick it. So quite often, you will see dried leaves on the ground beneath trumpet trees. In 
Some cultures, people use these dried leaves to make tea and they drink it for different reasons. Some people just want to build their immune systems. Some people want to maintain their immune systems. And then there are those that have maladies that they wish to treat. For example, Bright's disease, albumin urea, kidney infections, heat conditions, nervous disease to promote good kidney function, to treat stuffy nose, running nose, sinus issues, fevers, the flu, chest colds, coughs, and to control hypertension. Some people also use an infusion of the young leaves to treat things like liver ailments and dropsy. People also use the fresh leaves to make tea and it's also taken internally. They do this to treat these very same issues as well. They also drink it to treat things like whooping cough, pneumonia, asthma, bronchitis, dysentery, influenza, diabetes, diarrhea, gonorrhea, liver complaints, Parkinson's disease, and toothaches. They also use it as a cardiac tonic and as a diuretic. In Guyana, some people wrap the leaves around bone fractures bruises and wounds while in Trinidad some people use the fresh leaves to treat rashes and um, to make a shampoo which they use to moisturize their hair untangle knots um, give their hair volume and um, to keep it shiny also to promote hair growth and um, it's said to be very effective when it is used often to make the shampoo they just crush the leaves some people will use um, a mortar and pestle to do this then they make a paste and put it into a cheesecloth to squeeze out the liquid then they just add a little water to it and mix it thoroughly until it gets creamy. They also apply this to areas on their bodies that have rashes as well, which is said to be an effective treatment for rashes. The sap is also used too in traditional medicine to treat things like snake bites, scorpion stings, ulcers, warts, skin infections, and fresh cuts. Latex from the trunk is used to treat things like warts, corns, calluses, skin ulcers, herpes, and other venereal diseases. A decoction of the inner bark is taken internally by some people to treat dysentery. And 
a hot poultice made from the young shoots is used as a dressing for ulcers, abscesses, and wounds. Medical disclaimer. The information shared on Earth's medicine is for the purpose of enlightenment. It is not to be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medicine. If you are feeling ill or you have any health concerns, please speak to your doctor about same.